today is heading up to the mountains, lucky man, he will be in Zhanjiakou for the Nordic Combine. Um, I just wanted to just ask a few, uh, follow up on a few points. Um, I know it, there's a lot of uh, a lot of this. Uh, the situation arose today at short notice, which requires legal consultation with the ISU. You'll appreciate because there's legal implications involved in this. I can't really talk very much more about it at this stage. Hopefully we'll be able to give you an update uh, during the day or we will give you an update during the day and it will become clearer. But it's it's a kind of an emerging issue. So I can't actually add very much more at the moment. Whatever this legal issue is, are you confident that it'll be resolved quickly enough so that the, the athletes who need to get their medals will still be in China when they get them? You can bet your bottom dollar that we are doing absolutely everything and everyone is doing absolutely everything that, that these, the, these, uh, this situation can be resolved as soon as possible because uh, we have athletes and, and athletes that have uh, won medals involved. I can't give you any more details because I don't actually know it, but we will be doing our, our level utmost to, to make sure it is resolved as quickly as possible. But I'm afraid, as you know, legal issues can sometimes drag on. Yeah, thank you, Alex. That's BBC. Um, just a quick question for Mr. Huang Chan on COVID. Um, are there cases of local transmission um, within the bubble? We've seen it seems that more Russian ice hockey players are testing positive. We had the case of Vincent Chow, the Biggest 